It's funny though. I think where you don't get enough love is your bars. And I was rewatching your LA leakers freestyle and you had some crazy wow. bars in there. You, you said, if you let wolves teach the sheep, only thing they're going to learn how to be is their food. Yeah. If you let wolves teach the sheep, only thing they gonna learn how to be is food. Bars. Dude, I said if you let the wolves teach the sheep, only thing they gonna learn how to be is they food. What yeah. inspired that yeah. lyric? I mean, it it really is a lot, you know, as as someone who studies a lot, man, and just especially like the idea of, you know, even my my collegiate career. I was just reading books, like two, three books every week. And that was something that I read in a book and it just stood out to me to where we gotta be careful who we let teach, you know, our children and, and one another, especially a lot of these doctrines and the systemic issues that we deal with. Where it's like, yo, we, where they're stripping us of our history. Um, and, you know, when you just teach a whole group of people how to be complacent um, and, and that's kind of where that came from. And then I applied it to hip hop. I was like, yo, if you let the wolves teach the sheep, only thing they're ever gonna learn how to be is food. You know what I mean? And, we, and you don't want to be a food out here. You want to be a wolf out here. And you know, as we know, uh, uh, sheep are, are uh, normally uh, a, an analogy for followers. So, you know, everybody that, that I rock with, I try to teach them how to be wolves. You also, I mean, it's kind of on the same sentiment there, but you said on that freestyle, I hope God's Lamborghini mercy is greater than my mess. I finesse my stress in a purpose and walked away from a hundred million just to make these villains in the industry nervous. Lord have mercy and I hope God's Lamborghini mercy is greater than my mess. I finesse my stress in a purpose and walked away from a hundred million just to make these villains in the industry nervous. Was that based on, on a real situation or just generally in, in your career? It definitely was. I mean, I walked away from a lot of money a few times, but I mean, that was probably specifically I was talking about when I walked away from uh, America's Got Talent. You know what I mean? And just when you think about the amount of money that I had made on that show and the amount that I was, you know, potentially going to make, especially when they didn't want me to leave. Uh, and I was like, look, you, nobody controls me. Money doesn't move me. Money doesn't shake me, uh, no matter how much you throw at me. And that was, you know, that that was kind of, you know, it, uh, obviously, I was, I was, it was, I was playing off of you know the the word play with Lamborghini Murciago and all of that, and having the mercy to just you know I, I got a few Lamborghinis and stuff, so I was just like <laughs> throwing. I, I, I was stunting a little bit, but really the message was like, yo, I make the decisions and the moves that I want to make. What what was the the final decision there? Was it more so like the independence and the ownership that you wanted from that situation? Yeah, I mean, if going way back to it, you know, it was it was it was a long time coming. I mean, I love that job so much, but uh, it was just sometimes when you get in a scenario where you feel like you outgrow things, and then people, you know, I like I like to be my own boss. Um, I I like to be an executive at a space where you know I control the trajectory of not only my career but the brand in itself, and you know. America's Got Talent was a great job, you know, but everything after that I've been able to to produce and been able to, you know, see it as something more than just a job. It, it really becomes a passion and it becomes a love. So, you know, um, I, I appreciate the opportunities that, you know, America's Got Talent back in the day brought to me. But since I left there, I mean, it's just been a higher trajectory and, and uh, um. I feel like I made the right decision. I think people would agree and I agree as well. <laughs> and and finally, uh, you know, whether it be, you know, helping new, new, new superstars find their grounding or, you know, producing shows or putting people on, or maybe something that's in your own, you know, ambition that you've created. What what's been the most rewarding decision that you've made business wise in your career? Oh man, that's a good one. I mean, probably some of these executive moves, but I, I mean if just to put it like you know, in the simplest form, probably wilding out, you know what I mean? Because it's allowed me to be everything that I've ever wanted to be. It's allowed me to be an owner. It's allowed me to be an executive. It's allowed me to be a comedian. It's allowed me to be a rapper. It's allowed me to put my friends on. Uh, it's allowed me to to be, you know, a controller of an IP. Uh, it's taken me places that I would have never, ever even imagined. You know what I mean? We literally were just on, you know, the Rock the Bells cruise, you know, this past week performing while and out, you know, and 
sold out shows on a cruise, you know what I mean, for the Wild and Out cruise. So it's like, it's that type of stuff to where it's like, man, I never thought about that. We, we making products and, you know, we got restaurants. It, it's, it's stuff that, you know, this brand has really allowed me to be not only the entertainer, but the businessman that I've always wanted to be. Well, it's, it's, it's incredible to see. And next time you uh, have auditions, let me know if you need a new white boy. I got you with some bars. It might not look like it, but they're, they're hidden, <laughs> okay? So I'll send them through. I believe it, man. I believe it. For <laughs> but sure. I appreciate your time. And uh, the new show is amazing so far. I'm excited for people to see it. Uh, anything else you want to no tell doubt. the people out there? Man, future superstars. I mean, uh, we already gearing up for season two. Uh, we, we really want to see who that... The next 10 is going to be, I mean, the same way that we've watched uh, Double XL kind of, you know, hone in on the freshman class. We hope it, that the future superstars could do that, you know, not just in hip hop, but in all all music and, and really, you know, keep my eye out for this uh, for this curation process.